Welcome Monkey Mischief Classroom. Um, one behavior tool strategy that I can give uh, parents is the tool of waiting out a tantrum. Um, it's a lot easier to say than to do and I understand that, um, but it makes the world of difference because a student's behavior will always escalate before it de-escalates and to make a behavior de-escalate is to always just wait it out. Ignore, ignore as much as you can. Um, if the child you know is crying because they just don't want to do something that they're being asked, there is no need to comfort that child um, because it, it's not tears of pain, they're not hurting, they're, they're um, not wounded in any way, um, they're doing it for the attention. So super important to just ignore, acknowledge the other children that you have in the house that are actually doing what they're supposed to be doing. That child that's tantruming is going to be aware that those kids who are following the rules and directions are getting all the attention and they're going to, yes, initially probably escalate the behavior, but the behaviors are going to lessen and lessen because they're going to want their parents' attention. So do not comfort a kid that's crying just because they don't want to do something that you know the child can do. Um, always just give your attention and focus to those that are working hard and are deserve the attention because you want to always praise that positive. And as soon as the child stops crying or um, stops throwing things or um, being destructive, then you turn to that child and say, Thank you. I love how calm your body is. Acknowledging that and them getting that attention is going to be so much more rewarding and it's going to have so much more um, a, a better effect on the kid and the behaviors the following day than um, it will if you just acknowledge the behavior. Because oftentimes what ends up happening is we want to comfort the kid. We comfort the kid while the kid still screams and then you get agitated and then you raise your voice. You want to limit that agitation and raising your voice. You just want to acknowledge them in a calm tone and the best way to do that is just to ignore. And when they are calm, then address them in a calm tone. Um, hope that's helpful. Um, if there are any questions about this or um, more information that you'd like, please leave comments and I will be happy to make videos to help. I have had, you know, you probably think, oh, it's easier for you to say than uh, do, but you're not in the house. I've ha actually waited out a tantrum for 45 minutes, a student asking me politely because he knew if he didn't ask politely, there was no way I was going to say yes for, for him to hit another staff member of mine. And we sat there for 45 minutes. And for 45 minutes, I answered no. As, you know, annoying as it was that my class had to evacuate, but I sat there and I said, no. Do you want me to block you or to hold you because you want to hit? And he would say no. I said, then you answered your own question. Do you have another question for me? And he'd be like, yes. And I'd be like, what? And he would say, can I hit? And I would say, nope. But thank you for asking first. And it lasted 45 minutes. And in the end, he ended up doing the task that I had asked him to do in the first place that started the tantrum. Um, I think initially he thought if he did the task that he'd actually get to hit the, um, <laughs> uh, the adult. And then when I just didn't have the adult come back in, his behavior therapist come back in, I had told the behavior therapist just to go home. Um, then he realized, oh no, he just needs to do what I ask and there's just no hitting allowed at all. <laughs> it just gets him in trouble. Um, so I do understand what it feels like to have to wait it out and to for a kid to get physical. Um, just hang in there. I promise you it gets better.